Hi, it's John from Hex Crypto, and this is an unboxing of the Aware Element. So the Aware Element is an air quality sensor which allows you to monitor the temperature, humidity, CO2, and chemicals in your air. And very soon you'll be able to connect your element up to the Planet Watch system and earn planets in return. So this is classed as a Type 4 sensor, which means you can earn 23.07 planets per day, which at the current token price of 22 pence, is around five pounds and eight p per day so that's not too bad at all when you consider that this sits and consumes about two watts of electricity and you don't actually have to do anything else you can just sit and let it monitor your room and sit back and just let the money roll in so the planet watch integration isn't out just yet but i will make a video on how to configure that once it is it should be in the next couple of days so november so do be sure to like and subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified when that's available and we'll go through the setup and how to link it to your planet watch account i would however recommend that you get a type 4 license from the planet watch website in readiness and if you check out my video down below or in the top right corner you'll see a link to the video i've done on how to buy planets so that you can actually purchase your license so let's get into the box now and see what we get inside so opening up we can see we're greeted with the element itself it's quite lightweight actually, it's a lot lighter than I was expecting. And at the top of the box here we have a quick start guide. And underneath this cardboard we have the plug here. Now this does come with a European and a UK plug. We also get a USB-C cable in there to power the device itself. Right, so we can see this power adapter outputs 5 volts at 2 amps, which is a maximum of 10 watts. Now since recording this video I have monitored this with my energy monitor and it does only use about 2.2 watts at peak times so it won't get anywhere near 10 watts and 2.2 watts over a year will equate to about three pounds so it's not really going to break the bank just by leaving this on. Here is our USB-A to USB-C cable and here is the element itself. So we can see here on the back we have the USB port and we have these two buttons here which we will go through a bit later on. Not much else to see on the device itself. And once you've snapped your plug into place, it's all ready to be powered up. So we can take a quick look at the quick start guide here and see what's inside. So we've got some welcome notes here and just some details of the element itself and also about downloading the Aware app from the Play Store. We have some different FCC statements and just a description of the different statuses on the element itself. Some safety notes here and the warranty details. System requirements, so all you need here is a Wi-Fi connection, smartphone and a free Aware account. Okay, so I've connected up the power supply here and I'm just gonna get the element powered up. As we can see, the top right LED is flashing blue here, which means it's just waiting for a connection. So in your respective app store, just search for Aware Home and install the app. It's only around 50 megabytes big, it's not uh, gonna take too long. Once that's installed, just click on open. Right, and this is the Aware app. So there's a few details on this sort of intro screen here, which is tell you a bit more about the element itself. I'm just skipping through these. Okay, and I'm just gonna sign up here. I'm just gonna sign up with my Google account, but you can just create one with an email and password if you want, or you can even log in with your Facebook account. And then we get the main screen itself here, which is just telling you about the latest update. They've added some widgets, which I haven't tried out yet actually, but I am gonna give a go. And now it's just going to ask you to add your element. So we can see here it's going to ask to do a search for the element. Now it uses Bluetooth and as we can see the light flashing there means it's currently in a visible mode so that your phone can find it. So just allow the app permissions here and it's just going to search for that device. It will also ask you to search for a Wi-Fi network for it to join. So just click on there and then find your Wi-Fi on the list. Click on it and then pop in the Wi-Fi password. Once that's done, just click on connect. And we can see here the LED has gone red as we are connected. So we're just gonna click continue here and select our location and interests. Okay, so it's gonna ask us where our aware is located and I'm just gonna click on the default my home. Then I'm just gonna to click to add a room. I'm just gonna call it office. If I can spell, there we are. Just click on save. And we've now got a room called Office, so I'm going to select that. I can also name the Aware Element itself, so I'm just going to call it Aware Element 
office. And then click continue at the bottom. And now it's going to ask you what your interests are. So you can select various different things here, general, if you've got allergies, sleep problems, productivity, or if this is in a baby's room. And basically it'll just give you some hints and tips on how to improve the quality depending on what you're actually interested in. So I'm just going to leave it on general because I'm not uh, too worried about it just for this video. But you can change it later if you so wish. So just click on done. And now you can click on the get started here. You're just going to be taken through a sort of initial setup here. So it's going to just explain what each of the LED strips mean on the device and inside the app. So you can see they're coloured from one to five, with green being good at number one and red being bad at number five. And we'll go through each different setting here. So we start with temperature. We're moving on to the humidity now. And you can see these are updating on the device whilst we go through the setup as well. Click continue and we can see the CO2 in this room. So it's pretty bad at the time of recording. This is a little tiny box office, so I'm not really surprised at that. Then we can see the TVOCs here. So these are not a good thing as the PM 2.5 are also quite bad. So you never really want to see many of those appearing. You then get your aware score, which is the sort of overall score of the quality of the air in your location there. And 62 is pretty bad. So really I need to open the window or the door in this room and get some fresh air in. Now after the initial setup, it will ask you to change the aware display. This is just to let you sort of realize that you can do this. So you can have it permanently set on the temperature, the humidity, the CO2, the chemicals in the air or the PM 2.5. You can even just have the clock on here as you can see but I prefer to have it with the little graph on so I know exactly the status of the room. So I recommend having a play around with the app. You can see other air sensors around you if you click on the outdoor section at the bottom of the screen. You can check the trend of your device you can also look at some tips and try and get some help on how to improve the air quality around you. And you can click on the Aware Plus, which allows you to connect it to various other services. But yeah, have a play around with these settings. There are lots of different things you can do here. So in the settings, you can, again, like I said, go back into Set Preferences. You can then set your interest to something other than general if you wish. So allergy, sleep, productivity, or baby. You can also set the temperature unit, so Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can change the Wi-Fi, you can change the display of your aware by using the app rather than using the buttons on the back. You can set the LED brightness, so auto is on by default, but you can set it very low if you're in a dark room, or you can completely turn it off if you so wish. Sensor calibration allows you to recalibrate the sensors. I don't recommend you do this straight away, I would only do it if you're noticing any strange issues with your sensor. You can turn notifications on and off for various different sensors. So if you only want to be notified when it gets too hot or too much CO2 in the room, you can turn everything else off, for example. You can set the clock to 24 hours or 12 hours. You can check for firmware updates. We're on the latest version here, 1.2.4. You can submit feedback, run the tutorial again, or reset or delete the device. But that is pretty much as simple as the aware element is. It's very basic, but it does provide a lot of useful information. So if we have a look at the trend section here. We can see throughout the day how the score has been. We can also check the temperatures average throughout the day, the humidity, the CO2, the TVOCs, and the PM 2.5. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do click on the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more help and tips with the aware element. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a video as soon as you are able to link it up to Planet Watch. And I've got a video which I will link down below to show you how to actually buy Planet so that you can buy your Planet Watch license through the Bitfinex website. It is a bit of a palaver to do, so it does help to have someone talk you through those steps. So again, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.